Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning. Okay, I'm going to my little dinosaur. Look at my little dinosaur. All right. I had a dream with these cards. So, let's see. Oh, wow. I just realized I, I put this one to charge in the window, too. And I just realized what it did, which is all good, which is all good because the moonlight is great. But that just goes to show like, wow, I can see it now. That just goes to show how strong the um, look at all those vibrations. Holy crap. I'm going to have to play with this one later. Just shows what the vibrations of the moon does. So, just a couple messages with this one. Okay. Eight of Swords, Princess of Swords, Four Pence. Eight of Cups, so now we got two eights side by side. So to me, the Devil and the Ace of Pence, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Do my own, so baby, be mine. All right. Well, you know what? I noticed this one, so I'm going to go with this one. All right. Love you, Goose. Sorry, sorry, troops. My coffee was leaking. That's no good. All right. This Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups, okay? This is someone walking away from that entrapment. This is somebody thinking about somebody for sure. Um, but it's like this other person has to know. This person knows. This this person knows for damn sure where they're off to. I mean, look at the look. Um, I feel like somebody was obviously watching somebody holding on to them, wanting this new start, okay? So this is what we normally get in our reads. So I'm not going to read too much into this one. Um, oh, there's so much more here, though. All right. All right. Give it to me. Give it to me. Someone's got a white cat. A white animal. Um... Someone obviously sits on the beach a lot and talks to the water. Emotions are definitely flowing. There's somebody smart enough here not to mess with anything toxic. I think somebody's walking away from somebody too. Okay. Um, this new stat is Dolo. Somebody's nightmares are haunting them. Whoever's watching someone is doing more damage than good. Consciously. Because subconsciously, somebody wants to walk towards somebody. But consciously, they're not. There's this fear. 
Fear is the n number one stopper for damn sure. Um, somebody really likes Abraham Lincoln. Big time. Like, it's like their role model. Okay. Never meant to make it hard to cry. I apologize for chilling times. I will tell you too. Someone's mother slept with someone's boyfriend. I saw that the other day, and it's funny. I thought I felt it for a split second, and then with this song, mm, it's it wants me to talk about it. So. It, it literally somebody slept with somebody's boyfriend or somebody's ex. I don't, it doesn't matter the age, guys. It's, well, I hope it's not underage, but what I'm saying is somebody's mother slept with somebody's boyfriend. And that daughter. She knows. She doesn't have the best relationship with her mother, that's for sure. But that's going to affect this teenager's life for the rest of her life, that she's got a parent like that. Because nothing good came out of it. Nothing. So to me, in this situation, somebody walked away from their parent. She walked away from her parent. She left. Um, because she was the one that was out. Tell me about this. Princess of Swords. Um, this is deep too. We got we got past lives here, so I don't know. But I don't want to hear the excuse. Well, if you're that parent, I don't want to hear the excuse that um, it was the four swords trying to heal. I don't want to hear the excuse that oh, I had a past life with this person. I just know it. I felt the connection. Nah, because somebody just slept with somebody, and that's all that was. Probably smoking together, doing something like that, trying to be friends with our kids' friends. Like, not a good scenario. Somebody stopped by to drop something off, and then they ended up hooking up when the daughter wasn't home. It's 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 sickening. Because this, I can see, here's the deal. If it was to just happen, okay, if it was to just happen and you fell in love and it was an okay scenario and go ahead, do it, be happy, then yeah, all good. But this was kind of like, I don't know if the mother was on drugs. This was, this was a shady scenario. This was not, I did it out of love scenario. It was just a, a shady situation. Okay. Um, yeah. Three of Cups. She walked away from the Three of Cups. Used her intuition with the High Priestess unless it's telling me that that's her mother. You know, because that, that happened. Okay. Um, I don't even know why this music's on. It's weird. I had it on freestyle. Okay. Um, I really want to get out of that story. So let's just get out of that story because it's a, it's a messed up scenario. They, it, it, no, no one benefited, benefited from the situation and the daughter walked away from the mother. The daughter walked away from toxicity, having her own new stat, trying to heal. Okay. Um, I don't even know if she knows the whole story, but a situation like that is like that. It, it's so damaging. It's just, it, it's 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 just too bad because that child was raised. We all know how that child was raised. What type of environment that child was raised in? Now, okay, there's there's no excuses. This is this was not a love story. This was an effed up scenario. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Um, I saw it in one of my videos the other day too, and I'm like, there's no way. But of course, of, of course it happens, you know, but I didn't want to bring it up. I got sidetracked. Not that I didn't want to bring it up. Like at first I didn't want to bring it up and then I got sidetracked and now it's back. And you know, it's funny when I thought about it later that night, it made me think of Miss Jackson, like the neighbor, you know what I mean? Like 
so, and here it is again. So there's that. I, I hope it stays at that. And whomever this daughter is goes on your way. Because you're about to have a new start, sweetie, if, if it's you watching. Okay? Because it's probably not the parent watching this. And if it is, it's a whole other scenario because you actually fell in love. But that's, that's a different scenario. That happens. Okay? It's messed up. But I, I had a client where it was, they were older. And it was a boy from like 20 years ago. So it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? But like, they fell in love. It's different. This is just a shady ass scenario. <clears throat> um, so this particular woman or, or teenager, you four cups, six of swords, you're leaving. Okay. So I don't know if this person came back that's holding you on. Cause I don't think that's you. You walked away from toxin. You're like, frig that. And that's probably why Abraham Lincoln's in the picture. Because you you study all that in school, you know, usually lower elementary. And I'm not saying it's young like that, but like maybe you had an essay as you got older, you know, a role model or something. You know, it's just an extra little piece of information. But you, you left the situation. You don't feel like you missed an opportunity. You, you, you don't even want that opportunity. You're bored and you're sad because it was a third party. And not to mention, there was a parent involved. So you literally took yourself. You're being guided. That was like the last straw where the universe was like, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Okay. But now we're going to go where you need to be with that new start. Leave the toxin you behind. Leave it Leave it behind. She knows what happened. Okay. It, it's It's horrible, guys. It, it truly is a, a shady, shitty scenario, and I'm so sorry. Go on your way, get on the boat, and go, okay? You, you made your own judgment call to pick up and go. Now, for others, when it doesn't have to do with a parent, it's just somebody left a third-party situation clear as day, okay? You, you don't want to carry the weight. Uh, just tell me about the devil, because I think this person's dealing... It, it's just... It haunts you. It's it's a haunting... It's, it's not even fear. It's a haunting... It's a haunting thing because every time you look at the situation, you know, I think your mother's like, no, you're not leaving the house. She's giving you shit too. Like, I'll call DSS. Is that, that what it's called, DSS? It's one of those scenarios, you know, not like, not like, it's almost like you're being a little brat. Get back in the house. Like, but it's, it's like she's using you. So don't, don't go backwards. Okay. Um. You got the eight of ones reversed, so you're, you're not talking to this person. So that's good, because you're getting on the boat and you're going. You're literally being guided, okay? So it, it, that's that's a good thing. It really, truly is. You're being guided to leave, and it's the right thing to not pick up these messages, not talk to this person. Yeah, nine of pence. Your lack of confidence. You don't know what direction you're going, and you're literally leaving. But here's the good thing. This is how smart you are, even as a teenager, okay? Even lack of confidence, you don't know what direction you're going in, but you got the star here that's leading you. You're letting destiny lead you, right, to your ten of cups. And it will take time, and you're going to have to rebuild your, li your life. I think one of you, um, you left a sister at home, but regardless of that situation, I, I think one of you are going to your aunts, because your auntie, I think you call her auntie. Um, because it's coming to me, okay? And and now the sisters are fighting. See, this is not a good scenario. I kind of feel like this sister tried to grab you kids when you were younger anyway, and it didn't, it didn't happen, okay? I think there's multiple sisters, to be honest with you. But regardless, you're going in the right direction. Some of you are not even going to your aunts. Maybe the other sisters will end up going to the aunts. I don't know how this is all going to go down, okay? All I know is that you're getting a new opportunity to do your thing, okay? To start a new life, to start fresh. Forgive yourself for not forgiving the situation right now. I do not I do not want you dwelling or thinking about this situation. I, 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 what's up? Do you like these? Put your back on. Yeah, they're okay. I'm throw it out. Yeah, you can leave it out as a backup. Thank you. What I want you to do, considering your age, okay, what I want you to do is forgive yourself for not forgiving this situation. I don't want you to continuously look back on this because right now you're at that age where you need to push through, okay? It's too hard. Of course, you're going to be thinking about your sisters. You're going to be thinking about what happened. <clears throat> 
normally I say it's always the time to forgive, <clears throat> but now is not the time to go backwards. It's the time to move forward. Your mind, it, it, everything's developing right now, okay? So what you need to do is forgive yourself for not forgiving at this moment, okay? And step out of this equation. Because this equation it is still, there's still something shady happening here. You, it will take, if you were to go backwards, it would take you years to get back on your feet again. Like, literally. Okay. So, heal and process however it is you heal and process. I'm gl so glad you're on a spiritual journey. Okay. I'm so glad you're listening to your guides. You're going. <clears throat> I knew I wanted to use this stuff for a reason. Okay. So, you're good. I wouldn't respond to any of these messages, whether it's the mother or the person. I kind of think it's probably the mother giving you we can havoc on your ass right now, but don't worry about it. Because if you were to even go in front of the judge or any judicial, anything like that, you're good. You're good. What is that thing called? Because I think you're going to do an, an emancipation. I think that's what it is. You're about to do that if your mom decides to fight you anyway. And I think at that point, she'll stop fighting you. Because she's she's doing shady shit in the household anyway. It's not the average parent. This is a parent who's parties and it's just not an average scenario. Okay? It's, it's the children that raise the adults, unfortunately, and take care of the other siblings. You know? So, I don't know if someone's name is, is Tori. Um, Tracy, something like that. Okay. Um, Deborah, Brenda is something like that, but just keep, keep going on your path, sweetie, or whomever this is for. Okay. Um, otherwise, like I said, if, you, if you're not dealing with Miss Jackson, okay, if you're not dealing with that lady next door, then, or gentleman, then this is just you getting yourself out of a third party situation and you're being guided. You know, you're being guided and, that's because you're coming from a very dark, dark place. And it's not even about the, it's not even about the dark night of the soul. This is just a dark place that you were in. It was a no good environment. Okay. And you, you're literally, I don't know what happened epiphany. I'm not really sure, but you know, you're being guided. I don't know if you hear them. You just know, and it's a beautiful thing. And I got the goosebumps. I don't know how, you know, I don't even think you hear them. I don't know if you see, I think you honestly just follow your intuition. So good for you. I got the goosebumps. You you follow your intuition. So don't you dare for one second, you doubt it. And it's more than your gut. You're, you're very intuitive in other ways, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. If this is you and you are a teenager and you are in this scenario, email me. I will help you out. I will. I will. I promise you, I will help you out. Okay. But it's it's this scenario. It, I don't need hundreds of emails, okay? It, it's this one particular one where your mom slept with your boyfriend. Well, anybody that needs help, reach out. I mean, I can, you know, I, I've been through a lot too. There's towns that will help you out. There's programs. I mean, there's, there's stuff, okay? Um, but I don't see you with children unless you get your, I think they're going to go to your aunties anyway or someone in the family. But as for you, you're probably 16, 17, you work, you work your ass off and you study and you work hard and you watch where you're at in a couple of years. I'm not kidding you. Okay. You're dolo. All right. You, you have no attachment except for the fact that you have siblings that you're worried about, but they're going to be taken care of. Your mom doesn't beat them. It's, it's not a situation like that. It's just in a horrible environment. Work on you for a little while, first couple months and, and slowly work on getting the children somewhere else. Or if you want them, I think you're going to have to wait until you're 18, to be honest. You're going to have to prove to the judge you can take them in. But meanwhile, they can probably go to a family member, okay? But if you're in the situation where your mother slept with somebody and you're, you're in this, okay, and you just left and you have nowhere to go and you're just you're going, I'll, I'll give you a little push, okay? I'll help you out. I'm very proud of you. Um, I know you don't want to go too, too far. If it was up to you, you'd be out. I know you don't want to go too, too far because of the siblings, and to be honest with you, it's a possibility that you did get on some type of boat, some cheap ferry. You went somewhere, and I'm not talking like across the the bay to go to the to go to Brooklyn. You know, not that type of ferry, not not the island. Okay, um, 
I think you, you're thinking about leaving countries, all right, which is great, but I, that might be a lot harder for you because if you have those siblings, I can feel you feeling them. But if they're in the, the hands of your auntie, you're good. Okay. Um, because you're leaving a dark, dark place, which is beautiful. I'm proud of you. Okay. So for other ones that are in this situation, you know, you're doing good. There's this one particular person I feel that I know I can help. And I, I had one of that. Not I had. Well, I did have one client where I made her my client. I helped her out for a good six months just checking on her here and there. Okay. Making sure she got to where she needed to be. And then I, she had her wings, and I, I'm letting her fly. Okay, I, I still touch base here and there, but she's, she's, she's flying right now. She's teetering, but she's flying. You get, you gotta, you gotta let go too. Okay, so if this is your exact scenario, then let me know. Okay, everyone else, that that's this is just an average breakup. Okay, and you're going. I'm really the the one that's leaving this mama. You're not even a mama. This little chica. Okay, you, you're really doing good because you're listening to your guy. I mean, it's beautiful. They're putting where you where you need to be. So I don't really want to interfere with that either. But always, there's got to be some type of guidance, help. That there's something I can lead you in a certain direction. I know there is. Okay, so I wish you the best. I'm sorry about the shit ass scenario. You know, life can be hard, but we always, we, we get through it and we push through positivity, new insight, looking, looking to living in the moment, but looking into the future, knowing where we can go. You are one strong person. You, you just, you had enough. You're ready to cut the ties, but it's, it's upsetting. Okay. But it's going to be much better for you once things settle down and these other children are in a different place. But you can't, you can't save everyone. That's just it. Here's the thing. It, this parent is it's not hurting you guys. It's just your mom just doesn't know how to love herself. And you you choose to love yourself and, and to do good and, and to not live that life, which is which is great. You're getting you're getting out of it. You're breaking the cycle, which is fabulous. It, it's generational conditioning. Someone needs to break the cycle, and it's you. Uh, you're frustrated, too, but... You're heartbroken. I mean, it's your mother. It's your siblings. It, it's 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 enough. All right, you're you're going through enough, but you're gonna be okay. I, I mean, the I, this is just one of my most beautiful cards. I'm not even kidding you. This is more than you. And this is more than your gut. This is. Whew, I got goosebumps. It, it's just you are letting them lead, and I don't see that often enough. I, goosebumps, head to toe still. It's more like the psychic chills. You're probably psychic or you're a medium. You're probably psychic. I don't think you're hearing them. You might be seeing them. You, you follow lights. You follow, it's your intuition, but you're using your intuition in a freaking, I almost said in a bomb ass way. I'm not playing with you. You are going to do something with your life. I'm so proud of you. And if your mentor is Abraham Lincoln, awesome. Study. Keep studying. Okay. I, I think you want to go to foreign lands for sure. You're just you're interested in in history. Anything historical just pulls you, pulls you. I'm telling you, when you get a free a free minute, no matter where you go, there's a lot of museums and cities that are free on certain days, certain hours. Go check them out. Okay, check them out. You're about to go to your ten of cups. It's gonna take some time. I'm not gonna lie to you, but within due time, sweetie pie. In due time. I love you. Have a fabulous day.